Hi, it's Mark Kaufman, Anthology's Senior Software Engineer on the Integrations Developer Relations and Standards team. And I'm making this video to show you how to import our Swagger documentation into Postman. Um, what you want to do is get onto the developer portal and then developer.anthology.com and then hit explore. And what you're going to see here is you're going to see a list of our APIs, <coughs> the Learn APIs. And so let's say you want to do what you know is the current version. I believe we're on 3900.84 right now. If you go with this one, you'll see it's 3900.84. You'll get the 3900.84 APIs. But if you want to specify like an upcoming release or a, and you want to look at those or a prior release you can pick here um, note that we don't we actually have no learn instances or we should have no learn instances that are in the 3800 builds um, maybe you have a very old self-hosted instance that is somehow still running the license should have expired by now but so let's just get uh, move forward here with we'll 3900 i4 and you'll see that now this uh, URL that we were looking at a moment ago for the APIs has changed to specify 3900.84. So we'll go ahead and we'll just select that and we'll say copy link at address. Now what I can do over here in Postman is I can go to collections or actually APIs I think is where I want to be. Uh, no, uh, okay, there we go collections and you'll see that I've imported previously imported collections I've imported 3900.82 so here today I'll do 3900.84 so I can go to here create new collection actually I can just go to import so I'll click import and then I'll paste the URL and it's it's importing and I'm going to pause while it's doing that Okay, now I can resume and I'm going to import it as a Postman collection. It's going to name it Learn API. So I'll click Import. And now I look for the ones I just imported. It is right here. Actually, it's still, still working on something. So we'll pause while it's doing whatever it's doing. Oh, there we go. Okay, so now it's called Learn APIs. Now what I want to do is I want to edit this. Actually, I want to rename it. And what I do is I just rename it the, the release version number. So 3900.84. I could do .0 even. I don't think we release anything other than that. So now, now I've actually imported uh, the APIs for into a collection for 3,900 I can see them all here. Now I can't do a whole lot with that yet. Um, I'm currently using my environment 39 Kaufman test 3,900 And what I did there is I set the, the authorization the auth to use the credentials I have set up for that environment. So right now I'm using um, a bear token on client credentials and uh, so on and so forth. And I'm making calls to, in this one, I'm making calls to, if I go and look at the environment, that environment, you see I'm making calls to that um, that system, 3900.82.dtnest.next. So from that collection, in 3900.84, I'm still using that environment so I should be able to make a call to that system and uh, get 
content. My what I like to do, my first test is always to go to the uh, V1 system and then uh, version and just do the get. There's no auth required, so I can just hit, I can just send that. And you'll see I get a response here. And that system's actually running 3900 at 82. So there might be some APIs in this collection that I can't call it, make calls to that system, but I can version has been around for a while. It's V1. And if say I want to get courses, then I can look in V2. And go to courses and get courses. And now we're going to see uh, what I, I always have to do is uncheck all of these because I don't want to do use any of the params. And I want to just get courses and we're going to see a failure here because I've not auth against the system. So if I go to authorization, uh, I could change that to use the collection um, The 3900.82 collection. And let's see how I would do that. Pause while I do that. Okay, I would need to set up the authorization um, page for that, uh, this collection to be similar to what I have, or the same as what I have for this collection. So I, I'll just show you here, this, it's the same process. I showed you the setup for this collection. Like if I go to courses, get courses here, and I send, I'm gonna get that we're not authorized, and then I can look at the collection and see how it's configured. And it's configured to use the request headers, OAuth2, client credentials, I've got the key and the secret, and these are being pulled from the environment that I showed you earlier. So if I go back to my get courses, and I go to authorization, and I, I click here, and then I say uh, get new access token. Now we've got our token, I can proceed, I say use token. So now I can come back here to my get courses and send. And I'll get the courses on the system. All right, thank you for watching. The, the main point of this video was to show you how to import the uh, collection from the Swagger doc. And we did that at the very beginning of this video. And then we also showed you how to make a couple of, how to authenticate and then make a couple of REST API calls. So thank you for watching.